Greetings and salutations. Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome to Tea Time with Tanya, y'all. Happy Monday. Today is January 29th, 2024, y'all. It's my daddy's birthday. Happy birthday, dad. Happy birthday. I love you, and I hope you have an amazing, amazing day. It's also my nephew's birthday. Happy birthday, Desmond. I know you probably don't even know I have a show, but happy birthday. All right, y'all. Um, first things first, let's go ahead and get a blessing out the way. Universe, creator, spirit guides, please give us the collective a blessing for this Monday morning, just for us, here we go. We get the blessing of faith, y'all. The universe is testing you. Will you be faithful and true to yourself? Be courageous, for you are supported by a divine ocean of love. You are gifted at this time with the blessing of a strong faith that will see you through the present challenges. Look at this Mesa, y'all. Namaste. Let's pull a fairy oracle card as well. Universe creator, spirit guides, please give us a message from the faith. A message from the fairy realm, just for us. Oh, we get uh, we get pure intention, y'all. Pure intention. The fairy of manifestation will help you to use your wishes wisely. Manifest your heart's desire with pure intention and for the highest good of all. Y'all, the universe is working. The universe is on our side right now. Right now is the time to be creating everything that you desire, everything. This is the time to stop worrying about what you perceive is going wrong and to create those opportunities for yourself to go forward. We are on the precipice of change. Please, y'all, don't let... What is, what is about to happen, stymie your progress. Right now, everyone should be excited. Everyone should be dreaming. You should be living, dreaming about what it is that you desire out of your life. And put your heart into those. Dream it. Speak it out loud. This is the time for that. Don't worry about all this political garbage because that's exactly what it is. All of this political stuff is just to keep us distracted from the growth and the change that is ours to have. All right, y'all. All right, here we go. Um, before I start in the questions, I have two giveaways. I have a benefactor to the cha channel who has paid for two $100 special um, readings and giveaways. So you get, if you would like to win a free reading, a free four ounce spray and a free sachet, please just put, I want to win in the comment section below this or any of my videos. I will be drawing on Friday's live show um, at 11, 11 a.m. on Friday, y'all. There will be two winners. Um, the benefactor wants these to be for uh, a love, uh, love potion, my love potion number nine. But y'all, if you, I mean, if you want the love potion, you will get the love potion. But because my magic is specific to you, if you are the winner, you get to decide what you would like in your spray. Okay. All right. All right. So to enter, just put, I want to win in the comment section below this 
or any of my videos. And also, if you would like to purchase a reading from me, I have a $100 special going on where you get a one-hour reading, you get a four-ounce spray, and a sachet. And to enter that, all you have to do is say $100 special in the comment section of the email that you will send to Psychic Tanya 9 at gmail.com. All right, y'all. There you go. There's my commercial for the day. Okay, let's go ahead and get this party started. I need questions for Wednesdays and Friday show, y'all. So please, as you're entering to uh to to win the reading and the sachet and the uh uh sachet and the room spray, please drop those questions that you have um that you would like answered. Okay, here we go. My first question for today is from Sharon Y. And Sharon asks, Shane Pryor, a, a murder, uh, he's in prison for murder. He, he was convicted at age 14. He's 17 now. He broke out of prison and was on the loose for three days. The police caught him. He had a cuff key on him. That's how he got out of his uh, restraints. The question is, did the police a correction or a corrections officer <clears throat> did the police or a corrections officer give Shane Pryor the cuff key that allowed him to escape from the hospital? Yes or no? We got a yes on that one. We got a yes in the patients. New job, self-employment. All right. Um, the second part of this question is, um, Shane is now 17 years old, and his mother is screaming that he was with a bad crowd um, and that somebody in the crowd did commit the murder, but it was not Shane. So, Universe creator, spirit guides, yes or no? Did Shane Pryor, is Shane Pryor guilty of the murder that he was convicted of? Is Shane Pryor guilty of the murder that he was convicted of committing? Yes or no? Oh, we got a maybe. Universe creator, spirit guides, please clarify this with a yes or a no. Oh, but no, it's telling me to read the card. I'm I'm feeling this this is a even if he didn't pull the trigger, he did enough to be guilty of it. So here we go. Um what what Shane's card is on whether he whether or not he committed this crime. He gets the um the the thief card. He gets the seven of swords, deceit, lies, trickery, cheating, theft underhanded, dishonest, dangerous, risky behavior, enemy masquerading as a friend, spying, lack of conscience, strategy, resourceful, um, flexible, escaping interconnection. So I think that is the that is our answer there, Sharon. Whether or not Shane pulled the trigger, Shane was involved enough in the unaliving of whoever they killed that his his punishment is 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 apt for what he did. He did enough. He was in he was in it whether he pulled the trigger or not really doesn't matter. He had a hand in the unaliving of the person that he got convicted of unaliving. My next question. 50 cent has lost 40 or so pounds. And some people aren't liking the way that he's looking. Um, the question is, did 50, 50 cents is saying that he lost his weight naturally. Universe creator, spirit guides. Did 50 cent use, lose his weight naturally? Or is he on the Ozempic? Did, did he lose his weight naturally? Yes, Sharon. 50 Cent lost his weight, the good old-fashioned way. He did push back. 
He pushed back from the table. All right, there you go. The next question. Two people stole Jackie Robinson's statue from a park in Wichita, Kansas. Will they be caught? Two people stole uh, Jackie Robinson's statue from a park in Wichita, Kansas. Will the thieves be caught? Yes or no? Yes, the thieves who stole Jackie Robinson's statue will be caught. Y'all, we live in the age of HDTV and uh, worldwide surveillance. There are cameras everywhere. Okay. My next question is from Explain. And, and let me read this to you because it's kind of lengthy. Jamie Foxx reacts to the NAACP nomination, saying that he is humbled to have a second chance. Y'all, Tyrone has been cloned and replaced. And the what I'm what I'm gonna say about this, about Jamie Foxx and what happened to Jamie Foxx, since all the pieces are now falling into uh into alignment. Jamie Foxx was a great big part of uh, Puff Daddy's Freak Nick parties, okay? Jamie Foxx got into a lot of those parties by carrying a full-size video recording camera. And this is in the old days, y'all, when people used to walk around with the monstrosities. Now we just got phones. But he walked, he videotaped. He was Puffy's videographer of these wild parties. Jamie Foxx had video evidence of everything that Cat Williams said happened. Jamie Foxx was, they tried to kill him. And I'm going to say this for entertainment and educational purposes only. This was going to be another notch in PD, uh, P uh, Daddy's belt. I'm going to tell y'all, Jamie Foxx is lucky. Well, 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 what we what we see as Jamie Foxx ain't him. That ain't him. When they made that movie, they cloned Tyrone. They was telling us exactly what they did. Exactly what they did. Jamie Foxx has. Anybody who is, is a fan of Jamie Foxx knows he has a tattoo on the back of his head. This new Jamie Foxx don't have no tattoo. They clone Tyrone. They clone Jamie Foxx. And y'all can believe me or you cannot believe me. But I'm going to talk about this again. We are living in times to where we have been lied to about everything. We have been lied to, systematically lied to. Guys, there are warehouses full of artificial wounds that are making people. These people are soulless creatures. Okay, when I talk about people walking around that are not of the light, we are cloning people and they have been doing this for a long time, after World War II, and it may have been after World War I when this began. What we need to understand, y'all, the, techno the technology that we have today is old technology. It has just been revamped for us. Understand, our educational system that they have us under is to keep us dumb. It is not to enhance us. They do not teach us how to use our minds, only how to obey. That is what our current government, our current world is all about. It is not about you being a free thinker. It is about you obeying. And that is exactly what they want. That is why the mainstream media and everything is urging you to stay asleep. Stay asleep. Don't be woke. Don't wake up. Don't open your eyes and see what is going on. And everyone has to understand this. The powers that be want us ignorant. They want us 
at each other's throat. They want us fighting. That is why they are pushing at all this chaos in our face. We got all these politicians playing in our face. We got people on the southern border. Y'all, I keep telling y'all, when this civil war happens, it'll start in Texas. I said that a year ago. And here we are. It's about to happen. The federal, the federales against the the Texas, uh, what the the Texas Rangers is how this system, this this civil war, is going to start. The state police against the the um, capital police. Prepare y'all. And remember, you don't have to get involved in this. Raise your consciousness. Do not be focused on this nonsense. And don't fall victim into trying to pick a side. Please, please understand. Understand what they are trying to do. They're trying to justify bad behavior. They're trying to get as many people on the side of wrong as they can. All right. So, all right, I talked about that. Okay, here we go. And y'all, I don't have a whole lot of questions for this video, so it's not going to be very long. So please, if you guys have questions that you want answered on Wednesdays or Fridays or any of my videos, please drop those questions in the comment section below this or any of my videos. All right. My next question is from Denny. Vince McMahon is in trouble with human trafficking. Say it ain't so. Really? Vince McMahon, Mr. WWE, Mr. Let's Make Wrestling the Whole Big Thing in the World, um, is in trouble with trafficking um, for sending women to ex Epstein's Island. Uh, Denny wants to know, will anything happen? to Vince McMahon. And I, I keep telling y'all, I, I I don't know why y'all think somebody is going to get in trouble about this. Epstein is dead. Epstein is dead. Or presumed dead. Maxwell is in prison. She's already serving time. Unless these girls, um, and, 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 and in the state of New York, because that's the only one where the statute of limitations has been extended. These people aren't going to be in trouble. And, well, let's, let's go ahead and ask Tarot. Universe creator, spirit guides, Tarot. <sighs> will the people, will the people who are guilty of trafficking humans or rendezvousing with Jeffrey Epstein. Will any of these people be found guilty? Yes or no? Oh, we got a yes. We got a yes. We got a yes inverted. So, but listen to this card. If it's going to be somebody, it's going to have to uh, listen to the card. Lack of success, stagnation, lack of achievement, disappointment, burden, lack of completion. So, Denny, the card is saying, yeah, somebody's going to get in trouble, but it ain't going to be none of the people that should get in trouble about it. Okay? Again, lack of success, stagnation. These big, rich muckety-mucks are not going to get caught up in this web. Okay? They just aren't. They just aren't. Epstein ran this island for decades. Some of the most high-powered people in the world visited that island. No. They are the ones who were protecting Epstein. And that's the reason why I think a lot of us believe that Epstein was Machiavelli, that he, is, he was not actually unalive that that whole thing was a setup. And and guys, I know, I know, I know, I know, but 
I have to believe what I believe, and I don't believe. I don't believe Epstein is gone. I believe Epstein got moved, got a new face, got a new name, and is probably setting up uh, uh, exactly what he did somewhere else. Okay? So there you go. My next question is from Preston. Preston says, with all the money that 45 has to pay, um, what he, um, how will he pay what he owes to foreign governments and to the banks who, who all of his stuff is coming due, y'all? And if you haven't heard, I heard a little snippet. I believe he is being forced to sell off assets li to liquidate uh, to to pay his bills. So, so we need to talk about the Saudis and the Russians. Ain't nobody there to help old Donnie boy this time. If you notice, he ain't out there talking about how good friends he is with Vlad. Understand why he's not talking about how, how good things are with Vlad. That's because Vlad is no longer. His ally is gone. He ain't got nobody to pull his bacon out the fire. And the Saudis ain't going to do it. The Saudis already got what they wanted. They, uh, Trump is just collateral damage to them now. They're protected. They're not going to face any American charges. We're not going to go over to Saudi Arabia and do nothing. So, um, how, how Universe Creator Spirit Guides, please tell us what is Donnie Dump Trump worried about now with all this money that has been judged against him? And guys, understand, this is the only thing. This is how he values himself. And everything is being taken from him now. He's going to have to sell golf courses, memorabilia, a whole, a whole lot of stuff that he stole out of the White House that is buried on his on his golf course. Guys, get your popcorn out if you want to. The next two months in the in the Donnie Dump Trump saga, as he circles the drain, are going to be very satisfying for so many of us who have been waiting for this day for the last 10 years, okay? It is finally coming due. We are going to see the worst criminal of them all. We are going to see his karma. We are going to get to see Donnie's karma. My next question is from Jay Rock. Jay Rock says, rumors are circulating that Obama sent surveys for potential donors to back Michelle for 2024. Is this true? And guys, I feel that this is not true. And I'm going to say this because of what Michelle Obama said out of her own mouth. She, said, she already said she didn't want to be president. She doesn't even like hearing when, uh, when, when Barack is told secret. She doesn't want to know because she doesn't want to have that worry on her mind. She said that the, the hardest thing was, 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 was knowing what was going on in the world. She already said she had no desire to be president. And her husband has no desire for her to be president. And their children have no desire for them to be more under the microscope than they already are. Understand, these are not free people anymore. These people literally belong to the United States. They have to have um, bodyguards and security for the rest of their lives. They can't even just walk out and go somewhere to have privacy. When you become the president of the United States, you give up your autonomy. You give up your freedom. So I'm going to say that... That is um, not true that uh, Michelle Obama has no, she has no, she does not want to be president. 
universe creator, spirit guides. Does Michelle Obama, does Michelle Obama want to be president? Oh, my cards are jumping all over the place. Does Michelle Obama want to be president of the United States? Yes or no? No. No. Michelle Obama does not want to be president of the United States, y'all. There you go. There you go, J-Rod. Okay, next we're going to talk about the self-check experiment. Okay, all of y'all who shop know that wherever you go, there are self-checkout lines trying to force you to be an employee. As the price of everything continues to go up, they put people out of a job by putting self-checkout lines in and then have people standing over you making sure you don't steal. Guys, please, refu refuse to be an unpaid worker. Refuse to be a slave. Refuse to take a job away from somebody else. I understand if you're in a hurry, you need to get in or out. But if you are not in a hurry and you have a few extra minutes, guys, we need to demand that they open up checking lanes. Okay? And I do this all the time in in, in Walmart. No cap. No lie, y'all. I do this all the time and I get great pleasure from it. And I ain't rude or doing nothing. But I will stand in the line. And if, if the line keeps getting longer and longer, Tanya starts hollering. Tanya starts yelling, we need help. We need checkers at assisted checkout. Guess what happens when you start saying that loud enough? Managers start hearing it. Guess what happens? Almost instantaneously, they will open up lines. Y'all don't be afraid to speak. Use what you were given. You don't have to cuss nobody out. All you got to do is make yourself heard. Because when you start, guess what? If you can get other people to start, we need help at self-checkout. We need a, cha a cashier at self-checkout. Guess what happens? Y'all, when they say the squeaky wheel gets the grease, they ain't lying. If you need assistance, use. Use this voice to get what you need. When things are unfair, use your voice to, to, to show that there's something wrong. Don't be silent. Don't, don't be silent. That is what they are expecting. They want people to be so timid and shy that you will not stand up for yourself. Stand up for yourself. Stand up for yourself in all of its gloriousness. Stop worrying about what other people think about you. If they ain't paying your bills, if they ain't putting food on your table, their opinion of you means jack shit. Okay? Stop being afraid of other people and stand up for yourself. All right, there you go. My next question. Will Mike Johnson, the Speaker of the House, the current Speaker of the House, will Mike Johnson be voted out of the Speakership in February? Will Mike Johnson be voted out of the Speakership in February? Yes or no? Yes, y'all. Mike Johnson is on the short list. And look at the card that we got. We got that Pensa, the, the Prince of Pentacles. So it's patience, perseverance, unexpected sources of money or income. Um, but the answer is yes. Mike Johnson is going to get voted out. Mike Johnson is working too closely with uh, everybody else. Okay, my last question, y'all. This is it. This is only a, not even, just barely a 30-minute video. But here we go. Um, this one is from Sharon. Sharon says, one of my daughter's friends has had AIDS since high school. Will they find a cure in his lifetime? And Sharon, we get a yes. It came out inverted, but we got a yes. Let me read what the invert says. 
lack of ideas, intellectual inability, failure, and hostility? But the answer is yes. Yes, and, and there's already. Guys, here's the thing. Cancer can be killed with frequency and vibration. Anything that affects the cellular makeup can be repaired with the right frequency and vibration. So Sharon, the answer to, is, will they find a, a cure for AIDS? There's already a cure for AIDS. There is a cure for cancer. The reason that we don't have it is because it does not make money. There is no money in curing people, but there's a whole lot of, of money in treating people's symptoms and keeping them sick. And that's what the powers that be have chosen for us. So instead of making us happy, healthy, happy, and wise, they keep us sick, sad, and broken. And, and, and that's just the way it is. Raise your frequency, raise your vibration, understand, understand what frequency and vibration are and what they do. Learn how to incorporate it into your own life. Listen to binaural beats, create music, learn how to adjust frequency. They changed it on us to keep us subservient, to keep us in a slave matrix. It's up to us to break out of it. It's up to us to break out of it. All right, y'all. That was my last question. So again, I have a giveaway, two readings, two readings, a sachet and um, a room spray for two people. So there are two packages being given away. If you would like to enter to win, please um, just put, I want to win underneath this video or any of my videos. If you would like to schedule a reading with me, go to psychictanya9 at gmail.com. Guys, you don't have to buy the, the, the bundle. Everything is broken down in the description uh, below this video. So there are prices for everything. Well, except for this big, the big bottle, because this one is only sold in the special. But my regular two ounce bottle, that is on sale for $20. So if you don't want a reading, you don't want the special, but you want a spray or a sachet, there are prices in individually for them. You don't have to buy the bundle to get what you need. So just email me at psychictanya9 at gmail.com for whatever you need. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and get into this weather. <sighs> All right, here in Las Vegas, y'all, it is absolutely freaking gorgeous. It is 628 in the morning. It is 51 beautiful degrees outside. However, y'all, this is Monday. We have a lot of sunspots turning uh, to face the earth this week. So the solar winds are going to be what is going to be um, the, the most Sunspots and solar winds. This is going to bring hurricanes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not hurricanes. Tornadoes. Tornadoes. Wrong twister. Not over water, over land. So there's going to be straight line winds over land. And guys, this is north, uh, north east Texas, Oklahoma. Um, talking about Mississippi and Alabama. Uh, be aware, you could be facing some pop-up storms that turn into twisters. Um, we After this, this rain that everybody's getting, this is going to turn into ice. So, um, and that's going to be blowing. There's going to be lake effect weather that is going to be happening again. Um, Chicago, the Ohio's, um, the New York, uh, Buffalo. Um, Buffalo, y'all going to get some lake effect weather again. Y'all be prepared for the, the bottom falling out of these. these. It's going to get cold again. Winter is not over. Now, Groundhog's Day is coming. Let's go ahead. I'm going to ask one more question. Universe creator, spirit guides, will the groundhog see his shadow on Thursday? Thursday is the first. Will the groundhog see his shadow on Thursday, yes or no? 
We got a maybe. Come on. Yes or no? Universe. Yes. Yes dropped out. The 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 groundhog will see his shadow on the first. So what does that mean? Um, I don't have my phone right next to me, but for you, for those of y'all who knows what that means, go ahead and please hold on. I'm gonna just pause this real quick and I'll tell you.